What's good, y'all? Friend Legends here, and today is July 17th, 2024, and it's new comic book Wednesday. So let's get right into the stack. Slightly smaller stack than usual, but it's okay. Let's get into it. Uh, starting off with Ultimate X-Men number five. Um, this is definitely one of my favorite books. It's probably a toss-up between this one and Spider-Boy, but loving uh, loving this book. And, you know, it's been a kind of slow start introducing all the characters, but uh, I just think the style of it is really great. And um, just the reimagining of the whole X-Men uh, character and storytelling, I think it's dope. Next up, this is actually a book I almost didn't get, uh, Phoenix issue one the reason why i did is it's basically the second book from the from the ashes uh storyline so i was like let me check it out um and then sure enough uh, i go to enter the code and i have issues with the code it, it's not working properly so it's making me regret it a little bit more but i'm still gonna check it out give it a try i think i'm really gonna focus more on uh, x-men and uncanny x-men from this whole from the ashes release but i figured issue one let me give it a try next up blood hunt uh the Wolverine. So this is a one shot. Excited for this. It has the Peach Momoko cover. I've been collecting all of those for the one shots. So I uh, had to add this one to the collection as well. Uh, next up, Amazing Spider-Man Blood Hunt issue three. This is issue three of three. So this is the conclusion for this storyline. So we'll have to see how this one finishes up. Next up, Spectacular Spider-Man issue five. Uh, definitely been a, a little bit weirder of a story for me. And We'll have to see if I continue with it, but this is issue five for Amazing Spider-Man. Next up, another issue one. I'm actually pretty excited to check this one out. Uh, this is Daredevil, uh, Woman Without Fear. This is issue one. So, uh, you know, I haven't really checked out any of the Daredevil books. Uh, figured I'd give this issue one a, a try and, and see how I like it. So, loved the show back in the day, and so figured I'd give this one a, a try. Next up, Incredible Hulk, issue 14. This is actually the first uh, Hulk issue I've been picking up out of this whole storyline, but I believe it's a first cover appearance of, of a character, so figured I'd uh, you know pick it up and give it a try. And so there's that uh, Hulk issue 14. A book that I've definitely been enjoying, Spider-Man, or sorry, Superman issue 16. So this is an absolute power tie-in. I'm guessing that's going to mean it's got a separate story at the back. That's how they've kind of been doing these tie-ins, but we'll have to wait and see exactly how that goes. This is issue one, Dark Knight of Steel. Um, this is a DC book. I'm actually really into like, you know, um, like warriors and barbarian type storylines and stuff like that. So I don't know what to expect with this one. If there's any type of magic, it's definitely gonna have me sold. So uh, figured I'd try it out. It's issue one. And last but not least, this is probably the book I'm most excited for this week. Uh, this is Powerpuff Girls issue one. So yeah, definitely excited to see how the storyline goes. There was actually one other book I was hoping to pick up today. It was the 3D variant of New Mutants. And um, I don't know what happened, but they, they didn't have it in. They were um, saying that I guess it was ordered from a different company than uh, Marvel. So we'll have to wait and see. But uh, yeah, my pick of the week so far is going to be uh, Ultimate X-Men issue 5. So let's see how it goes. Until next time, guys. Peace. Thanks for watching.